Hey, Drew, you killed this shit. Hey, What's up, fellas? Quads down. You know what it is. Let me start that right there. We back. Number five, Fever. Four Corners of Wrestling. In your ear. 613. Faith Production Network on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. 613 Faith on Instagram. We missed y'all. Go ahead and throw them up. Go ahead and throw them up. Throw them foes up. And throw them bitches down. Because it's in the Four Corners of Wrestling Podcast. And we about to get busy. Yeah. Talking about wrestling or wrestling. As I like to say, entertaining y'all. Doing what we do. Hit that like, share, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you know when that next podcast is dropping. Thank you for joining us, for being here. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. Join us in our Facebook group, one of the hottest Facebook group on the net, in the four corners of wrestling. All right. It's time. It's time. Before I get started, you know what I'm going to give a shout out to? You know what I mean? Our ladies, our sisters, the fast girls, they're back. Check them out. Also, check out our brothers, the Man Cave Sports Podcast. Check them out. You're going to love them. Like, share, and subscribe to them, too. Or Quavo, come get you. And you don't want Quavo to come and get you. You don't want that. You don't want that. Speaking of which, what's up, Quay? What's up? How you doing, baby? Hey, we back. Season five. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you know, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, Marshall. I'm a little jealous. They got that. Uh, they got that belt, bro. You seen that the man's gate in the man uh, cave? Uh, hey, I'm man, Shantae got it, man. I'm gonna have to go rob Shantae, man. I ain't say that. <laughs> I thought they were gonna I'm get a trophy. Saying, they came nice. out with the belt. I was like, this is the disrespect. Golly, that that the we definitely tour. gotta join. That belt was nice. No, it's I'm a nice looking fire. belt. I had to cancel my order because I had got the case. I went on, you know what I'm saying, WWEshot.com, and I went and got a belt case. So I had to cancel my order since I didn't win. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't so come close. in first. Yeah, I, came in like, I didn't come in last either. No. Well, there, there you go. Yeah. that. Almost last, but not, you know. But if you ain't I can still play next last. year and redeem yeah. myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming for the belt, Sean. I'm coming for the belt. Believe that. It'll be a new belt next year because they have a budget, unlike this show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for it. Hopefully, we'll see that. See the belt up there. Boom. I can see it now. Manifesting. What's up to our man I wanna, behind I, the mic, Hollywood? Before before you go on, I just want to yes, give, give you a, a shout out because you did something really good to start the season off. Usually, you do this corny ass shit when y'all put y'all ones up and be like, we the ones. You stop doing that. I'm I'm proud of you. You're you matured. You're a grown man now. Um, I I, I just want to thank you because that was corny, and it made us look bad. And we're not the ones. Um, if, if if we were the ones, then Quavo would be Sammy. I sure would be. I sure would be. Yeah, we kick I you feel off. like Mel. Mel would be there. He'd be like, "Hold on, let me defend you. Let me defend you." No, I don't think he would defend you. <laughs> I don't think there's a J. I don't think there's a J in this episode. I think if he was J, then he would still not like you from back when he didn't like him in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it you. Could be. <laughs> Yo, we are stupid, man. What's up, man? What's going on, on fellas? Where we at? Where we at? Season we at, five man? time. Boom fever, baby. Rick. And the full call. We at the five. On the focus. All right. Oh. We at the five. Okay. There's five so. great podcasts out right now. All right. Mm. And it's mm. in the four corners, in the four corners, mm. in the four corners, in the four corners, and in the four corners of wrestling. All right. Five. We spit hot fire. Fuck the 
<laughs> Word is bond, son. <laughs> 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 On my mother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. So everybody's good. Yes, everybody's good. Yes, sir. Oh, you right. they will. You didn't go to me. I was waiting. I, did. I thought Sorry. you. I thought you said, "What's up, Jay?" My well, bad. I thought you like chimed in and like nah, that was what you had. Nah, you not. My you bad, bro. My segment. Give me, give me my, my little bad, bit bro. of a second. Ahead, okay, ahead. calm down. Acknowledge me. Acknowledge me. your fifteen seconds of fame. And go. What's that? What's good, Marshall? Good to see you Season five. Season five. Four Corner Boys, season five, baby. I'm done. That's my son. <laughs> <laughs> my man. <laughs> All right. Hey, like I said, man, we here. We glad y'all joined. It's time to get busy and guess what we starting off with. You know what I mean? It's been a minute, so we got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. We might not hear it in a while, but I'm going to say it just because I want to say it. No chance. Sometimes that's what you got. That's right. He's back. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Back, y'all. After six months, my man was like, you know what? These bamas done pushed Ricochet. Mm-hmm. These bamas done brought back this psychopath. That doesn't say anything that I just cut. You brought back Bray Wyatt. Oh, hell nah. I'm back, baby. You, you, and you out of here. I'm gone. So, yeah, Vince is back. Well, I was shocked. A lot of people were shocked. Some odd people wasn't. But he came back and, um, yeah, still majority shareholder. You know what I mean? He pulled that Bruce Wayne shit, y'all. <laughs> he pulled that Bruce <laughs> Wayne. I, you know, gone. Well, Bruce Wayne was gone for like 10 years and popped back up as Batman was like, yeah, I'm taking over. You, 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 you're gone. You ain't get the memo. Vince sent the Joan out and was like, yep, I'm coming back and um, I recommend X, Y, and Z. And then boom, came through the front door, picture still on the wall and took over. But there's a catch. You know he ain't come back for no reason, right? So, I was talking about sale. What y'all think, fellas? You think Vince coming back to sale? See what they think. You start with Jay Will. What you think about Vince coming back? Is Vince selling WWE, man? What what's is he coming back just to take over stuff? Like, what's going on with Vince? He's back. Vince is back. Do I think he's going to sell? Highly likely. I really think it, but who he's going to sell to, we won't find out until, until it happens. Uh, craziness to see that he came back. We saw Stephanie rolling out. People Aye. were nervous. We was nervous about what was going to happen because with Triple H running creative, we worry Vince want to step back in that round too. And man, I, that was a scary thought process. It kind of still is, but as of right now, he's not with creative. He's not handling creative. So let's please. Keep on praying. Keep hope alive, baby. Oh, God. <laughs> My name's Billy. And I just <laughs> want this out. <laughs> so evil. So evil. There's a lot of people out there that feel like you, though. You know what I mean? There's a it's, lot of people. When they heard the Vince was coming back, they was like. It's, <laughs> it's, it's not, in, in fairness, it's, it's extremely frustrating because with. Things haven't been perfect. We let's keep it there because I know this guy Mel's want to say some shit. But Dang. things have gotten better with Triple H running creative, and we kind of want to keep that momentum going. We really want to keep that momentum going. Then stepping back in that room, oh, that's scary. It's the, Bray Wyatt, <laughs> my man. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Loomis, Br- bruh. It's a lot of people who saw Vince was coming back, and they was like, I just got back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, bruh. I t- <sighs> okay. Oh, I'll let man. them have a chance. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, hey, what you think, Quavo? Hey, Quavo, was there people that was like, 
when when they knew that Vince was gone, they was like, ah, yeah, Vince is gone. Let me go see what they're talking about. And then as soon as they heard Vince was was back, they was like, yep, and just went back with, what you think, man? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think for Kerry Cross, he was like, oh, damn. I just, I lost all my time. I'm not about to be on here at all now. Good Lord. Sheesh. Yo, they, they all, they all jumping out, bro. They jumping off the ship as quickly as possible. But y'all knew Vince was going to be gone forever. Y'all can't keep Vince away. What you say? You saying you knew he was going to come back? That what you saying? You, you can't keep Vince away, bro. I mean, he, he could step down, but y- y'all really thought any of those charges were going to stick? Oh, Vince, come on now. <laughs> Here we go. You really thought? Come on now. Yeah. This is Vince. Okay, okay, come okay, on okay. now. I can't let you do that. I can't let you do that. It wasn't no Here charge. There wasn't any charges brought yeah, exactly. against Exactly. See, it wasn't, even, it wasn't even snow. It was rain at best. Oh, shit. No, nah, okay, Quavo, I can't let you do that. The words of Quavo was not the words of... Uh, and, 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 Hit and, the disclaimer. Yeah, the, whatever the shit that you sort of say is a disclaimer, but he, the words not, of Jose Quavo, Quavo, Quavo do not reflect the views of six thirteen or his affiliates on his <laughs> network. Those only uh, reflect Quavo of his own thoughts and will. Okay, Again, continue. allegations, some allegations. He's back. Okay, he. Oh he man, going nowhere. Nigga Quavo nowhere. about to end up like the nigga in Rick and Morty. Just got fired from the <laughs> swim. You better be careful. <laughs> First, first, first episode back, he's about to be just like right, right gone. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm with you, man. Like, you can't say that. Anybody watching? Right? You can't say I'm allegations. Not, I'm not with him. Spaces with when women were getting raped, bro. Like, you can't play like that, bro. That's not cool, bro. And uh-huh. he just paid him. He just paid off the one, the referee that claimed that uh-huh. uh, that he raped her. So therefore, come on, bro. You can't play with that. Let's not do that tonight, please. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. If you thought he was gonna come back, that's one thing. But to say that the allegations are allegations, that's not cool. This does not affect me at all. This took a turn. I'm on the New York contract. I'm not on the Philadelphia contract. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. <laughs> right. That shit went dark side of the ring real quick. It's like damn yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Um Moving on. Um, so. No, you ain't go to Mel. Go to Mel. I did go to Mel. Mel said he good. You no, fucked I it up for the party. Anything. You ain't <laughs> asked me. But um, to be realistically true, I don't know what to think. I don't know what he going to do. One minute he going, next minute he here. I don't know. Only he knows. So, good luck with that shit, WWE. Hopefully, y'all ticket sales keep increasing. Okay. Now, what do y'all think gonna happen if it do, if it do sell? Like, how long are we still gonna have WWE? You know what I'm saying? Like, just don't WWE's... sell with Disney, man. Oh man. Yeah, now, you know they that was big, that big subscriber. You know, uh, huh? he's waiting for that big subscription payoff. Somebody who's who's charging at least twenty twenty three ninety nine a month. You know, at least at least. You know, Peacock's only what nine ninety nine. You that shit five dollars, cuz I ain't Mine's paying no nine ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, that's right, five twenty nine with tax. Mine is free. So you know who would be actually a really good company if he was to sell them to for their Apple for TV. rights? If he sold to Netflix. So hear me out with this: Netflix has the space for their entire wrestling catalog. They have people who are already on it and they will get people who will be interested in it. They will get people back who they've lost previously. But then on top of that, Netflix is expanding themselves into another realm by having live content. If they were going with airing SmackDown, Raw, and NXT. Kind of like HBO Max does with the soccer tournaments. Mm -hmm. Right. That would be a smart business decision, but I'm just a casual watcher, so... Thank God. <laughs> hey, Mike, how are you hating, Mike? Yeah, you guys have some horrible ideas, man. <laughs> I'm just entertaining it. <laughs> I don't have no ideas. Right, I'm I don't with know what man. Vince going to do. Did, did one, thing, one person said Disney. One person said Netflix. You know, why ain't nobody watching Monday Night Raw on Netflix? Yeah, I, 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 I was about to say, like, what would you do with the pay-per-views? Like, 
I mean, he just said they got live TV, but I ain't never heard nobody watch no live TV on Netflix. No, I said, no, no, that, he that said would give them. Oh, that would put them into that the would give run. them an the availability to do live t- like, live TV shows. Then, like HBO Max, HBO Max just started showing soccer matches. Plus, Hulu, soccer Hulu's match. on that same move too. You know, they be trying, they're trying to do live stuff too, and they already got Raw and SmackDown shows on Hulu. But they they get the don't, don't they only get the previous season like Hulu? No, they're like two oh, yeah. they're like two weeks behind. Yeah, and Raw is usually like cut Raw's down. They usually cut after. some stuff out of Raw. Raw usually get the whole SmackDown cut, show. and then um Hulu um SmackDown is a couple weeks behind because it's Fox. Yeah. Okay. I'm just saying. I hope he don't. I hope he not listening to this show and take any of y'all advice about what he should do. That's all I'm gonna say. Because man. You guys are you boy. Once again, I, I preface with I'm just a casual watcher. Once again, I don't have no advice because I don't know what that man is gonna do. All right. So good luck to him. I just hope WWE sustain. You think that's what I'm saying? If he said if he sells it, you think I don't it know, will? Marshall. I don't know no. what that nigga gonna do. He might fake it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I was like, you ain't baiting me in. You ain't baiting me in. <laughs> I got this you, brother. Ain't like, you'll guess one thing this nigga would do. He'll do a whole left turn. So I don't right. know. I seen okay. this nigga say, yeah, I hate that motherfucker. I don't never want to see my right. Hey, come back. Come on, let's sell some merchandise. So I don't know. I'm I'm just an innocent <laughs> um, bystander. Hey, you know what? You said that. You just said that phrase. You know what clip popped in my head? Hey, this one of my favorite clips, too. Somebody's talking to Vince. Hey, what? He's here? He's here? Go, go get that son of a bitch. Go, go. go. <laughs> he just running down the hallway. <laughs> son of a bitch! Get his ass! Son of a bitch! <laughs> when you said that, like, he'll never work there. I like somebody showing up that Think he'll never it. work with again. He just running through the door to stop him and shit. <laughs> Think about that whole segment. And then he set all that shit up on his own daughter just to get that stone cold. This month. <laughs> So <laughs> you telling me I'm supposed to? I don't know what he's going to do. So we can do anything, right? Oh man, got you, my man. All right, all right. So we're gonna end that segment. Um, gonna bring it down a little bit, right quick. Uh, gotta talk about this. It's big news. Um, Jay Briscoe passed away. Uh, on January 17th at the age of 38, eight days before his 39th birthday in Lower Delaware. Um, crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, RP to Jay Briscoe, RP to the other driver involved in it. Um, his daughters were severely injured, so want to send them some well wishes as well. Um, it's crazy because, like I say, he passed in Lower Delaware He's from Salisbury, Maryland. So People from Merlin, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's crazy right there. Um, as we're recording tonight, I don't think it's happened yet. His brother, Mark Briscoe, will be doing a tribute match uh, versus Jay Lethal. Um, very sad. Very sad. Um, anybody want to say anything about Jay Briscoe? Send any well wishes to the family or did I do justice? Just want to reiterate, uh, well wishes to... And condolences to people who lost someone important to them. Yes, as well wishes and shout out AW and ROH. ROH did a tribute show, and AW is having the match that will be main event between his brother and Jay Lethal. Mm-hmm. So, Mark Briscoe, facts, facts. So, our condolences yeah. to the family members. Yeah. Say it again, Quay. He said our condolences to his family members, you know. Right, and um, other families uh, that was affected yes. by that tragedy Everybody. as well. Everybody yeah. affected by that. All parties involved. Yep. Right, right. Um, also want to send some well wishes to Stephanie, Stephanie McMahon. Want to send you some well wishes on your surgery that you had on like, January 13th. And also want to send well wishes to AJ Styles. AJ Styles broke his ankle at a house show. So that's my man right there. So he's going to be sitting down for a minute. All right. So trying to pick it up a little bit. Trying to pick it up a little bit. Um, Mel, your boys, FTR, 
FTR. They out till April, man. Mm-mm-mm. They sitting down, man. Dak said they contract about to expire, man. Him and Cash, they sitting down. They got to think about some things. They dropped all their belts. You know what I mean? They they dropped their titles. Uh, the first time went to the Briscoes. Oh, that was a hell of a five match. That was a great match. Oh, um, I, think, I do match. believe we reviewed that. Yeah, we reviewed that joint, man. That joint was, was sick, vicious. Um, so basically, they got a new slate for 2023 since they dropped all the titles, as Dax put it. And um, what you think about that, man? Any thoughts? What's your thoughts? FTR out till April. I don't. I don't like the move. We have a talented group that's sitting out. But it's also a good move because now they're not wrestling. So whatever promotion, if they do decide to leave AEW, if they decide to come back, they are 100%. So it may work out for them. It may not. Who knows? I just wish nothing but the best for FTR. All right? Cool deal, cool deal. Quavo. Thoughts, man. I think, it's good for them. I think it's good for them. You know, we we talked about this when they uh when they first lot, dropped the belts to the Briscoes and how they were going to end up possibly losing it again. Um, you know, the New Japan belt. So I think it's a good thing because you know if if, if they get picked up, they will be ready to move. You know, I think this downtime is going to be good for them. Let them recharge. Let them get. You know, some quality time with family, relax, get a little, you know, R and R, and then get ready for the next move. You know, yeah. next move might is probably more than likely gonna be the final move. You know, can't do this forever. I think that's what Dad. Very true. Um, Very true. About, you know, what I'm saying? his body is hurting. You know, what I'm saying he's been doing this for so long. You know, uh, look, I'm, I'm, I ain't gonna disclose. You know, my age on the show, and I'm I'm just pretty good looking for my age. I'll put that, but I'm not going to, about to go into wrestling right now and take a bump or anything like that. You know what I mean? So I can understand that, you know. Father Time's undefeated. Um mm-hmm. fuck you, Jay Will for laughing. What's your thoughts, bro? <laughs> um the fella said it right. Um I feel odd I feel odd about it, but there has to be a method to the madness. Um, it's yeah. Let their let themselves let their bodies heal. Let them figure out what they want to do, where they want to go, uh, with where they're going. As far as being the team is concerned, because who knows? They may just feel overworked. They may have done so much for themselves at this moment. Let's take a little break and let's come back. Or who knows what we can? What we gonna see? Four months. To sit out, that's a, that's a that's a, that that feels almost like a lifetime in in wrestling for real, especially when you working you working like that, because they that's more than one promotion for that's more than one promotion with them, so so hope for the best for them. Hopefully they get themselves situated and know what's what know what's going to happen next. Hopefully they know that way we can expect something good from them coming back maybe. We wish them the best, definitely. I like FTR. Great tag team. I think they going going back to the big house. You know they get that call. They they look. I believe that's what they're looking for. They're looking for the biggest pay- paycheck. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this last hurrah. Get the biggest paycheck we can get and just ride to the sunset. Do you research your stuff before you say it, right? Yeah. Well, you know that's exactly the opposite of what he said. Mm-hmm. What did he say? He said they're looking for the best situation. They don't really care about the money. He said they know they can go there back to WWE and get more money than AEW, or mm-hmm. they can get more money from AEW. They're looking at a place where they can make their last run and be successful and just have fun. They didn't say anything about money. So you talk about money. Come on, man. You got to do better. Come on, man. Come on, come on, man. Thank you. That's why we got you here. Man. No, no, forget that. You can't be lying to the people, man. That's why we got you here, though, man. <laughs> It would be nice to you know have fun and still make big money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I would making money is fun to me. To some people. You know? Not if you're Tony Storm, uh, real <laughs> Ruby Cell <Sepho. laughs> <laughs> uh, Athena, 
uh, Alistair Black, all them people, <laughs> they chose their mental health over the money. Well, actually, really, Vince chose their mental health over their money because he fired them. <laughs> um, but still, some people do choose, you know, this day and age, some people do choose the uh, their mental health over, the, you know. I, they From what Dak said, that was their choice to take the break. Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. the fact that they're sitting out for four months and they're doing it willingly, you know, I don't think it's really about the money at this point for them. They probably made mm-hmm. enough money um, and they're pretty frugal people. So, you know. Mm-hmm. But ain't nothing wrong with making a little bit more money. You know. Securing more bags. I mean, when you love the, especially, when you love especially the industry, by, you, you want to do, you want to do what you love. Somebody. You want to do what you want. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You're going to try to do what you want as long as you can while making it entertaining for the people. Because because uh-huh. people like them are more worried about the experience of everything. They're not, like, they're going to have fun. They're going to, like, low-key, it just kind of reminded me of what, like, uh, with, uh, what's his name? Randy Orton. It, people really won the title on him, but, like, he was having fun with what he was doing with RK Bro. That was a uh-huh. great situation for him. He was having fun. So like it's good to see wrestlers who genuinely like really just care about having the fan experience be amazing. They're having fun. The fans are having fun along with them. That's that's an amazing ride to be on, and you could tell the heart and soul of the person from that. Also, he said that um, that Vince coming back to WWE kind of changes things. Uh huh. So that's why I said the money isn't really a, 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 a issue with them. Because you could, I'm pretty sure WWE will offer them more than AEW would. Facts, but, but Vince, like you said, Vince being there, so yeah, Vince kind of messes things. Like you gotta watch; it's a good podcast. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say the name and give him a plug because he wouldn't give us a plug on his podcast. But Dax, whatever his name podcast is, is a good listen. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Hollywood the producer, baby. That's what he do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Anybody yeah. else want to uh, add anything? Uh, you be slumming. Hey, man, I'm <laughs> funny, man. That's why I got you, baby. Catch me when I'm falling, dog. That's what you hear from. I'm four minutes to five. Anybody want to uh, add anything to that before we wrap this up with FTR? Nah? All right. So good luck to you. <laughs> so, anybody know the words of Kansas? Carry on my way to go. There'll be peace when you are gone. Tony for our song today. Let's go make some money. They say supernatural. No, no. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. This was a train wreck just now. <laughs> Where are we going? So we're about this? to talk about that. Hey, hey, look, listen. I like that song. You know what I mean? Hey, they was like the band was we're like, yo, yeah, because they're playing our song. They were like, yo, yeah, keep on playing our lyrics. song, man. On, keep on playing our song. Say what? You said nobody knows the actual lyrics. Nah, listen, I don't watch Supernatural for no, years. I said we're I not going to throw the actual lyrics on there. Then we have to pay royalties, bro. We ain't got that kind of budget. We ain't even got enough to buy a belt. Come on, now. Budget? Dang. Foreign language talking to you around here. Dang. <laughs> Y'all want these people get fired on, 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 on air? <laughs> These people is crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying now? They're like, they, just go, they think they Ed Reed. You're just going to talk about the, 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 the damn company you work for? What the hell is wrong with y'all? I'm just repeating damn what Ed Reed. <laughs> and, 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 and just so just so the back marshal up, that interest is fire. I don't care what you want. That interest is fire. That's I so hate them. Fire. I hate them, but that interest is fire, dog. <laughs> I still the think about supernatural like, when it. the song plays, but still, that Jonah's fire, bro. Yo, the the the, the is like, yeah, keep playing it, keep doing it. We like what you're mm-hmm. doing. Kansas, Kansas yeah. is the group. The downloads is going up. <laughs> Go read the damn lyrics and it tells you who it's about. Oh yeah, it tells you who they talk about if you go read the lyrics. You like? I'm gonna go read them now. Yeah, I read when they first did it. When they first first did, it, I was like, what is this corny shit? But then again, I remember the elite. Uh-huh. And, I've read the lyrics. I'm like, oh. Mm-hmm. There will be peace when you're gone. That They're talking shit about the boy, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't you Don't cry, you cry no more. 
they petties, man. They got time. Yeah, when they petty. came out and start first off playing it, I knew exactly what I was like, oh, they going at my man's, bro. They and petty. the song, bro, it rocked out. Oh. Petty. But, yeah. yeah. That's why I was like, they the king of petties, bro. The night they came out with that shit, I came on the show the next day, we're like, yo, they king, they the kings of petty, dog. Like, I knew exactly, as Hollywood pointed out, who they was going at. I knew exactly uh-huh. who they was going at. That is the most expensive way of being petty I, I, ever since. Expensive for who? They ain't paying a dollar. Right, this is all of a Tony expense. They using that Tony card. <laughs> right, like, that's, that's, uh-huh. that's... Put it on petty cash. <laughs> Write it up to petty cash. Hey, pop, going we going to tax this off on Tony. I can't Check wait to look that like, Tony, you spent too much money. <laughs> Stop spending money. <laughs> I can't wait till that happens, dog. That's exactly what I was going with. What that man will be money spending money, money for off. nothing just to make fun of other people. He probably don't even, he, he probably just, they just probably went to, hey, Tony, we got this idea. We just want to change our interests up a little bit. Hey, sure, sure. sure. He goes, do a line. <laughs> Sure, 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 sure. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Just go ahead, and you know, go ahead, go ahead. And it was like, but you gotta pay the, you gotta pay for the fees. And he was like, sure. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nah, you know, you know, Tony. He was like, yeah. He has no clue what that song meant, bro. You know, no, Tony. None. You know, Tony. He was like, yeah, man, we could do this. This is gonna only cost y'all about ten hugs per day. Ten hugs per day. I got y'all. <laughs> My man told him, Don't you get cry in. no more. Carry on oh. my way, we <laughs> like, I was like, There be peace. I know, yeah, I know that. That's fucked gone. up. Yeah. <laughs> man, you're very red. All right, come on. We don't, don't got the road. No <laughs> that was under a minute. Were we still under yeah. a minute? That's a full <laughs> level. That's a whole different level of petty. Yeah. That's like, Daddy, that's like, bro. That's like when Fifty bought their first rows of seats at the fucking hey, Jungle Cruise. That's, 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 that's only his logo, but that's just like perfect for it, dog. Like, oh, so petty, so petty. Yeah, so petty. <laughs> they gonna be mad when they hear that coach personality come. Right, God. My God, damn it! We gonna go to Dave Meltzer and be like, he begged to come back. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my stereo all the way up too. Mm-hmm. Gonna be mad when they hear that shit in WWE. I'm gonna trust them too. I'm gonna turn it, <laughs> turn it up then too. <laughs> oh man, would you be excited if you showed up there? Yeah, that's why Vince came back for real. <laughs> the the piss Stephanie and Triple H off. He gonna sign Punk back. <laughs> Yo, if he saw a punk bag, Triple H is done. I'm talking designing. Triple H is Triple H is done. Survivor series next year. If Punk is not back by AEW by SummerSlam, mark mark my word. All right, y'all remember this episode. First Mm. first uh what uh uh, episode episode one of season five. five. He called it. If he calls it, he calls it, guys. If he's not DraftKings Mini Duels, DraftKings, uh can we put a parlay on this? No, I said if. He is not back because there's an if in this. If he's not back in AEW by the time SummerSlam comes, he will be back in a WWE ring. One of them fall pay-per-views. Pr- probably for him, they wouldn't do extreme rules like Bray Wyatt. They would do something bigger like a, a Survivor Series. Yeah. Roman probably still might be the champ. Mm-hmm. And then he come out at the end when Roman beats everybody up in war games again. And then he come... <laughs> And then you hear him, and then everybody goes crazy, ape shit nuts, because they can't hold on to him past SummerSlam. That's a long, that's like a year. Ain't it been a year? It'll be a year that they've held on to him just sitting on the sideline. Just about. Mm-hmm. That man with Tony Khan, that stop paying the goddamn the monies to get <laughs> them punks. Stop paying the goddamn MC punk. <laughs> oh, oh, dog. Shit. Oh, oh, sit, 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 sit at home with dog. <laughs> <laughs> dog with Mrs. D. Oh my goodness. Quavo. <laughs> they were, we were always up for that one. Hey, man. Wow. Yeah, so, you know, man you, you, went off on a tangent on that one. Hey, I love it. I love it, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But still, hey, still, still tell me, though. How you feel about them 
being a two time trios champion, man. Oh. Defeating Death Triangle, man. How you I mean, feel about that? I, I, I called it. I said they're going to politic their way. Ain't no way they was going to lose. Ain't no way they was going to lose. You saw them come from a three to one losing streak to mm-hmm. come out and, and take the win. Come on now. They, they were going to get those belts. They said, Tony, let's let's make the people believe they were that we were ever going to lose this. Let's let's let's, make, let's give them a good chance. Let's give them three wins, and then we'll we'll win every single one after that. That's fair, right? Yeah. Okay. Just dangle it. Just dangle it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Sheesh. You feel the same way, Jay? No good watch. Still good to watch though. Ah. That trio's belt. Uh, that the, the trio's title is just to me. Hey, they're just, the first time, first ever, two time trio champ. <laughs> That's some selfish shit, bro. <laughs> uh, it, it, it really is. I think I'm more so annoyed just about the fact that how uh, Hawk is probably one of my favorite people in AEW, and he just ain't getting, he not getting a chance to hold on to no titles, bro. And that shit hurts. That shit hurts, but. Would you? He was a transitional champion. Mel, don't go or his one of his favorite wrestlers was Big Boss Man. Don't don't. <laughs> <laughs> nah, one of his favorite wrestlers was Hibutu Guerrero. <laughs> Hibutu was a like that Lucha Libre oh. wrestler, bro. Don't even do that. Damn, you hate him. His, but, uh, his favorite of all time man. manager was Paul Bearer. So that is not on. a lie. That's actually true. Yeah, that's actually I saw, true. I saw the paperwork. <laughs> I saw the paperwork. Paperwork D's. Anyway. Damn. Back to what I was saying. Um, you know you can't say that to somebody from New York, right? Two, right. two, two time trio champion. Bottle thrown in. Good, good job, guys. <laughs> good job, guys. Pulling them cards the way you can. Hey. Hey, have Jay. Have fun Wood. with it. They will. They will. Sir. Don't you cry no more. (laughs) (laughs) Yo. I'm pitching this shit out equally. (laughs) Everybody get it. No, you're stupid. I don't know how it is to produce these riff raffs. (laughs) Oh, man. They'll never come prepared. Hmm. Um, <laughs> they'll never come to the meetings. <laughs> Tired of this shit. <laughs> Season five starting off good, y'all. Yeah, Tired of this shit. You know Ooh. what? F the A and N A A W. <laughs> Jade Will, don't you stop giving the monies? If you make one more budget joke, you would be part of the budget cuts. <laughs> Please, I'm not trying to end up like Rail. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Rail, oh, man. Rail wasn't even budget cuts. Rail would just cut. Right. He gets no t-shirt. He got cut to help the budget. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me give Rail some props. The elite are two time trio champion. Rell is the two time kicked off two shows champion. <laughs> that still gets no t shirt. <laughs> oh, man. Damn. I was say, I got kicked off two shows and all I got with this shirt. Hey, hey man, man, he don't even get the tread, shirt. Tread, tread lightly, Clark Quavo. Tread lightly, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, made it, you made it to this season by the hair of the chinny chin chin. You got to relax. <laughs> I let you get the first real joke out. That was cool. You got to relax, man. You got to relax. You got to relax. Hey, everybody can get it. Don't worry, man. I'm coming for you as soon as you say some wild shit. I can't. I got J. Will. I got Marshall. I got Quavo. I got Quavo over there. Contemplating his life right now. <laughs> he like, man, I want to kick that motherfucker's ass, man. <laughs> if you guys only knew. <laughs> oh man. 
I know. Ooh. Ooh. Don't Ooh. cry no more. So, this show has gone off the rails. Really? Oh, awesome. Episode one. Next segment. Yeah. I love it. I. Mm. Damn, I don't yeah. get no take on this, huh? Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, we know, we know we you're going to love it. Nah, nah, see, nah, nah, here we go, see, fellas. Here we go, fellas. I got your backs. I got your back, Quavo. I got your back, J-Will. Here we go. We don't want your damn, your bias ass AEW take. Damn. How you, you know over there talking to Tony Khan? You can't Tony, speak Tony, Tony As Khan. what CM Punk said, you can't speak for me. Tony, Tony speak Khan. For me. Tony Khan, father, be calling that male. How do you stick the shows these two that? <laughs> great show, great show, Yo, great chill, show, calm great down, show. Bro. Calm down, calm down. As soon as they like announced said, it was a seven series, a seven series drink, you knew it was a, like if an NBA be like, yeah, it's a seven game series. You know that shit might go seven, but it might get swept. As soon as they said a seven uh, match series, he was like, man, Mel was the only person like, yeah, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a slobber knocker. Hell <laughs> no, hell no. You see. <laughs> y'all got this man. Yo, what y'all gave that man today, son? What y'all put in his cup? <laughs> Ain't going off today, son. What's in my cup? Ain't going off today. Bro, oh, man. Uh, uh, Mel got motherfucking Tony Khan father on speed down. He's like, too much blood, Tony, uh, the Tony's dad. And Tony, I trust this tons. Tony's the too, too much blood. Oh shit! Oh, man. I just thought it was bullshit. That's what I thought. I thought okay. it was fucking bullshit. The fact that Kenny held almost every male championship in the company right now—they destroyed their whole trios division that they had from 2021. All the factions that they used to have, all that shit is gone. So it's just bullshit. All right. Tony need to get his act together. But we sending Jay Will over there. Someone is a liar. <laughs> hey Mel. Doesn't that how you feel? <laughs> it's okay, Mel. Don't you cry no more. <laughs> After this recording, he's gonna hang up. He's gonna be like, that was the greatest shit ever. Oh my god. I can't believe they did. <laughs> All right. So moving on. Jade, Target. Talk about her, fellas. Let's talk about her. Longest AEW champion. The only women's TBS champion. What are your thoughts, man? Pros and cons. Jade being champion. TBS champion. Mel, let's start with you, bro. The pros. She's black. She's a black woman. She's a beautiful black woman. She's a strong black woman. Is that the same one or is that two? Is that the same pro or that second pro? (laughs) These are all different pros. Gotcha. (laughs) The con. She's holding the title to a division where we don't know which women qualify. Okay? I feel like any woman just off the street, hey, you look like you could do the opportunity to compete for this title. And on top of that, another con. What woman's division is in AEW? Because I don't know. One day they want to be women. Next day they want to be construction workers. Next day they want to be bleeders. I don't know what's going on. Tony, get a performance center. Train these women. So we can have better entertainment. That's it. Another pro. She's black with white hair on occasion. <laughs> and Bow Wow, she coming for you, nigga. <laughs> All right. You got more pros or we're going with the cons now? I said my cons. Tony uh, Trash, he need to book this shit better. But you have more time. Okay. Um what I got next. Jay Will. Jay, what are your thoughts, man? Long as AEW champion, she's been the only TBS champion. 
You about to go 50 and 0. She 50 and 0 yet? I think 49. For she 49? Still 49 and 0? What are your thoughts, man? What are the pros and cons? Um, congratulations to her. Um, a pro or a con? Can, let me get there. Uh, um, the, the pros, yeah, <laughs> she's she's had the title longer than any person in the company had the title. Crazy to think about. Mm -hmm. You're looking um, it up right now, aren't you? It, I'm hoping. <laughs> no, I'm looking at her. I'm trying to find her her record still. Um, I just would hope that somebody. Know, I would <laughs> hope that somebody who had the title belt made for them would be able to hold on to it for a significant amount of time. She's 48 and zero, by the way. So As you're a, saying this is like the million dollar belt for her? No, we were not, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say that because it's her belt. Damn, That's damn, a million, her belt. Dollar, damn a million dollar belt. It's her belt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> My belt. She uh she's she's doing a good, she's getting better episode. After uh, two episodes, she's doing. She's getting better. <laughs> she, uh -huh. So every other episode, hold up, say what? Hold every up. other episode, back. every other episode, she's getting better. Her mic skills are doing are getting much better. Getting better at what? I said on her on the mic. Oh, okay. Her mic skills so are every other better. show. She's getting better on the mic. Yeah. Okay. Some giant, some some promos be a miss for me. It's just me. Some of them be a miss. Um. Can I go ahead and jump into my cons? Okay. My cons is she's still not really great. She's doing okay. We have somebody who has the characteristics of something amazing. The delivery is still not there. I just... We root, I'm rooting for everything black, but I also have to just be honest and it's just not really it yet. Can she get there? Absolutely. Is she there right now? No, she's not. Yes, yeah, she has this belt for this long. That's good stuff. Kind of still feels like a little bit of damage control at some point, but you know, we're here now. Congratulations to her. That's it? Yeah, all I got. Yeah, that shit dry, too. I thought you was going like, to say something else after that. <laughs> talking about delivery. Oh, <laughs> Wait, <laughs> well. Damn that that shit was I was I, I was trying to be dry, uh, but I don't think it gets any drier than that. Uh, oh, no, damn. no comment, no comment, no pros or cons. Yeah, and no I, comment. At least I had something to say. He brought nothing to the table. He, he ain't never seen a Jade match. There's Watch a match, Quavo. I mean, there's nothing Watch else to talk show. about. What's, the, what's, what's your pros good. for Jade, and then what's your cons? What do you like I about mean, her? So you don't like anything she, about her? Cons, she's still she's still green. Um, I I don't get moved by her promos. I'm I'm glad that she's still holding on to the belt and that she has an undefeated streak, which is good for her, good for her look. But I mean, other than that, I mean, you got her going up against Red Velvet, right? Red Velvet. And they're about to break up the baddies, so I don't know. It just eh. I'm not moved by it, Marshall. I'm not moved by it. But good for her for having that belt and the undefeated streak. Hopefully she doesn't lose that streak and no one takes her out anytime soon. Hmm. Y'all do know Jose's not black, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, just to let y'all know. He ain't Spanish either because he don't support them motherfuckers so, either. So if Thunder Rosa was back wrestling, he would have had a whole list full of shit to say, huh? That was just uh -huh. saying. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> she's she trash. Oh, okay. Lord have mercy. Jose, everyone that's Spanish is not Lucha. <laughs> everyone that Lucha's is Spanish in some oh. kind of way, in your heart. 
You ate a taco. I don't know when you did it, but you did it. What? what? <laughs> hey, come on. Hey. Don't you cry no more. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what's going on right now. Oh, hold on. Marshall, Marshall, I got to bring something back from a season, some seasons ago. You know what happens when you have a long, drawn out thing and you say nothing and your cons are really your pros? And then you come, and then the next person after you, you know what happens when his his doesn't make any sense? Because he's talking about Hispanic wrestlers, but he don't like none of them. He likes Lex Luger. You know what happens? This motherfucker don't made the list. <laughs> no, you didn't make the Damn, list. Damn, see, now I'm going to have to get a Lex Luger shirt. No, you don't make the list. You get talked to by Tony Khan that, Craig, don't you need to stop this shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh man! I, I got a new name. I got a new name. Conti. Conti. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Is it because T Con was taken? Okay, so don't you cry <laughs> no more. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> Lord have mercy. All right, that was Jay. What did you come up with that topic right there? We're gonna have to talk about that right there. That was there. not my. That was not my topic. We're gonna talk about that. Topic. That, that, was not, that was not in my fact, topic. We got uh, <laughs> so this is a little, little 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 comedy routine we wanted to throw in there right quick because this dude was uh supposed to have been wrestling a minute ago. You know what I mean? We ain't seen him wrestle yet. He's been back for a minute, but his his intro rocks. You know what I'm saying? I'm rocking out to it. You know what I'm saying? Ding ding. Yeah, Bray Wyatt. That don't that don't be hit. That don't that new thing music. We're definitely gonna have to clip the actual song with you doing that. I didn't even know what the hell he was singing. I was lost. I was I was lost to Hey, I was singing in my head. I was singing in my head, you know. No, you were singing out loud, and we still didn't understand that. Listen, shit. the lyrics yes. and everything was clear as day in my head. My hey, Marshall, life. Marshall, no, I don't Doug, know what y'all was hearing. No, we have to. We might have to reevaluate the host position. You can't read nor sing. <laughs> hey, singing wasn't nowhere on the application, so it was all that good. is true. That is true. You, I did not put singing. Did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I threw that in for free. So boom. Um. So yeah. Oh, this is a running joke around here. When are you going to wrestle? They will. Let's put parameters on this because let's not count this pitch black match as a real wrestling match. I'm talking about real wrestling in a ring on TV because we know that they've been having house shows with that man. I need to see him. But if we don't see a real match with him, Within two weeks after, are you talking about like a card match, like a match yes, with like, the other card, like on the card okay. in the arena wrestle. at in the arena in the ring. Okay. I see him lock up, and I hit uh, square, and he does a light attack. You know what I mean? Oh, we know. Yeah. <laughs> we you know see that. <laughs> huh? How you know the the pitch black match is not a wrestling match? Because it's one of those cinematic matches. It's not what like it. How, how do you know? Isn't that you seen it already? All right, you was there. Maybe, maybe. I yeah. might got some connection. Is he going to wrestle? Is he going to wrestle um at the Royal Rumble or no? He's going to wrestle later. Because he's supposed to have wrestle at the last do We ain't. You know nothing, what I'm saying? Nothing happened. I don't. I think something's going to happen, and we're not going to go. You know what I'm saying? Into that too much. But I don't. I don't. I don't think it's going to happen. I think something's going to happen that's going to throw it off. Like we saw, and we're going to get into this too later, like at Monday night with the steel cage match. I think something like that is going to happen. I'm hoping not. It's, it, it's been such a long time. Man. You see one move, Sister Abigail. I see one. Just I see Abigail. one move. <laughs> Just one. So my bet, we'll, we'll start the pool here. I got at least two weeks Within two weeks of Royal Rumble, we'll see. So you're saying no at the Royal Rumble. You're saying he doesn't wrestle at the Royal Rumble. 
No, I okay. If, if if we're going okay, if we're going to set that parameter, we will see. I, I well, no, I can't say we will. I believe we'll see him wrestle at the Rumble. But I, if we don't, how do I say this? We don't know, Jay Will. Sweet, sweet Jay Will. Come on, let if it this out. Is, is, one this, of them, is this how you got to this one out? Out? This is food, bro. Like, if, what the fuck, dog? No, if this is one of them pre-recorded, if this is one of them pre-recorded matches, I, I dog, I don't think we're going to see a real. I don't wonder if we hope we see a real match within two weeks, like in the ring, him wrestling somebody. Are you that, counting Royal so Rumble saying, as one yeah, of the parts yes, of the no, week? No, no. At Royal this, Rumble? This is, listen to what I'm saying. If it's one of those pre-recorded matches, like how they did Undertaker and um and AJ, if it's one of them type of matches, we need I need I need to see him in the ring. Y'all in remember, the arena. Y'all remember when we were learning integers and they were like, all right, if the circles filled in, it's including it, and if it's not filled in, it's not included. Is he? Are you counting the rubble or not? That's all I want to know. Did you hear what I said? No, 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 it sounds no, confusing. No, as hell. I'm, no yeah. I'm saying so. You're if, saying it's a be pre recorded, you're saying a pre recorded okay. match. So, you're saying we're going to be watching a live pay per view with fans, and then they're going to air a pre recorded match at a live pay per view. Okay, all right, so we're not in the Thunderdome anymore, Jay. Will, <laughs> I don't know what this motherfucker said. I feel like Adam Sandler and fucking. No, nah, he just put out the list like a John Billy Cena Madison? match. He described, he's thinking we're going to get a right? I know what he's talking about, like right. the fire yes. playhouse Yeah, match. we're not going to get yeah. that, Jay Will. What are you, what are you drinking over I'm there? I'm hoping that, that's, bro? that's what I'm saying. I'm hoping it's not one, if it's one of them matches. You've never bet matches, before, have you? Huh? You've never bet before, have you? I have bet. You sure? Bengals, Draft Kings, cut a check. I have seen it. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't giving us no check on the way you were speaking. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Tough ass parlay right there. Good they got a, right. They got to make some new categories I, okay. for that shit. Jay Will was after, talking about, boy. After yeah. the Rumble, if he's going, if when he wrestles at the Rumble, I don't think we're actually going to see a real match for two weeks. What top star wrestles every week? He's a top star. You, you, what? Oh, he hasn't shit. wrestled since he returned. So what? That, and that's and my, and that's my problem. Wrestle. And that's Always what I'm saying. Right. We waited. We've been waiting so long for a match. For something, some kind of in reaction. We saw Sister Abigail on Raw 30, and that was that was it. We haven't seen anything else. What? Damn. He picked up the camera. This is this the same time last time when you said this exact same thing. You was wrong then. He beat up the cameraman. They beat up. They he he headbutted L.A. Knight. He's had a, a bunch of physical alterca- uh, altercations since he's been back. I don't know. Well, yeah, I was just no, about I a think match, what he bro. means is like an actual a match. match. I was just yeah, saying, yeah, but what I'm saying is, what match. top what top dudes wrestle every week? Right. Who's else? All right, man. All right. So we're going to take. All right. So yeah. That. So yeah. Okay, so uh, Mel, what? <laughs> <he's> that, <laughs> yeah. All y'all try that shit at home. Try all that shit at home, and uh, leave it. Don't leave it to the professionals. Try that shit yourself. You you know, <laughs> and we out. The hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Right. What you think, man? I'm just going to go to Mel. Mel, what you think, man? He'll be wrestling Saturday. All right. Pitch black. Right. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that means. I don't know what the fuck they going to do. All right. That's it. It's going down. It's going down. What you think, Quavo? You think we're going to get a match or something going to happen? I, th- I think we're definitely going to get a match. And, and then next week on, on Raw, the, the night after, he's going to do a fun house and he's going to wrestle. Oh, shit. Call that back and raise it one more match. Okay. All right. All right. So next. They will think that uh the uh what's the what's the little bunny name? Bad boy. Rambling Rabbit. He think Rambling oh. Rabbit is gonna be in the ring and 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 uh and and, and Husky the Husky. <laughs> Husky the Husky. He think that's what it's gonna be. He think uh, uh, L.A. Knight gonna be wrestling fucking puppets. And Uncle Howdy. Yeah, and Uncle Howdy. No, Uncle Howdy definitely gonna be there. He definitely gonna be there. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. He don't have he, no choice. He gonna be there. Hmm. Mm-hmm. They not having no damn uh 
Not in Philadelphia, J. Will. You got to know what, what they're doing. They, they're not about to put on the Philadelphia screen a match, a cinematic match. They would get booed the hell out of them. What I was about to say, they were riding that. Philadelphia, bro. Philadelphia is not going for that. You, for, Yeah, if you don't even do your promos in Philadelphia Live, they boo you. So, yeah. That, That's ECW territory. Yeah, there ain't, ain't going to be no cinematic match. It might start off that way, but, yeah, it ain't going to be no cinematic. So um, I said it. I said it. You know, what I'm saying I, I apologize to this guy. You know, said I'm jealous of him. I'm liking his character. I'm talking about old D, man. Some people call him D Lope. Some call some call him D Lop. Hey, my man went, got got locked up for about two three hours. You know what I mean? Shanked up his cellmate. You know what I'm saying? He was talking reckless. He asked him, do we got a problem now? The Bam was like, nah. And he's been telling the story to everybody, man. MVP, Damian Priest, he just he's about to be a thug. I mean, he's a thug now, bro. I mean, D- Dominic Mysterio, goodness gracious, man. Like, what a character change. Love it. I love it. It's hilarious. I like the t-shirt. Mommy, I can't go to jail. Like, I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, we've seen him. Thanksgiving, crashing the party. Christmas, crashing the party. God Let him tell he was locked up for New Year, so he couldn't crash the party. <laughs> How are you feeling about this, man, Quavo? Feel about old Dom character improvement, man? You feel like he's improving? I feel like he's improving. I feel like he's he he took a sip out of cold <laughs> juice and came back looking like a cholo. Ready to, to square up with anybody, bro. It looks mm-hmm. good on him. It looks good on him. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he got he got some hair on his chest. He's got he's got Rhea on his side. Oh yeah, he's looking good, man. He got his mommy. He got a uh, he got a, he got a sharpie teardrop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's doing big things, baby. <laughs> he's doing big things. Stay well. Well, you got more Quavo? That all uh, you got, man? That's it? Nah, that's it. Keep doing what you're doing. d That's the first time I ever heard Quavo say something nice about a Spanish person on the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, come on now. I said good things about Bad Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Say well. What you think about d Like you say, man? How you say it? You say d low. You say d low, bro. d low. This d low, bro. Got the bandana tied around his face, bro. <laughs> I'm man thugging it out out here, bro. Oh, uh, what set he claiming, baby? What set he claiming, bro? <laughs> What's the purple dudes from GTA? <laughs> no, he's yeah, the character progression for him is great. I I'm genuinely liking this shit. It's is entertaining and just so funny because the fact he's like I served a hard time I was in there for a long time like you were in there for two hours you ain't do nothing you said you was in the, you was in this holding cell in the office you was in the office for two hours like what you say <laughs> <laughs> Duh. then I, I think the funniest thing was his interaction with the Usos that might have been one of the funniest moments ever dog <laughs> Jay was looking at that man like are you serious right now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, dog. No, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I'm. I was not a huge fan with of him. Still, not really a fan. But I'm liking him much more now. His character is getting so much better. He's sure. getting so much more depth. To you him. just laugh from a fucking healthy place, bro. You're a fan. It's funny. I'm entertained. You're a fan. I'm You're a fan. fan. We're not gonna say that. I Don't will worry. say though, Raw Thirty, <laughs> Raw Thirty was one, of his, You're a was one of his You're best a matches <laughs> ever. Shut up, shut up. You're a hater. You're a hater. I couldn't wait till y'all brought up Dominic. Oh, I couldn't wait. You're a hater. You just hate you. You are officially a hater, Jay Will. How? Because, bro, you just <laughs> laugh from your gut. Healthy place. <laughs> Healthy place. And I've been, getting, uh, I've been getting on. It's a running thing on four corners, Mel. And I was waiting. I, I was going to let Mel get y'all, but I'm I'm gonna help him. We're gonna double team y'all. Mar- Marshall, Jose, and Jay Will. Y'all were the biggest Dominic Mysterio haters of the world, Craig. And I told you, I said, wait till he get away from his daddy, 
and y'all gonna see. Y'all can't judge him right now because he's with his daddy. And uh, he sucks. He should be in NXT. He should never get a chance. What you didn't know was the boy didn't even have a contract at SummerSlam. So for all that uh, nepotism that everybody was talking about, he earned his shit. And now look at you. You can't even say, dog, I am a fan. I'm, I'm hey, not. You hey. admitted you a, a real man can admit when he's wrong, Jay Will. Just say, I, wait, wrong. wait. Did, I said he's getting better. I'm you not saying that. You're a fan. Fan. You just said you enjoy it. You love it. It's great. And then I, when the man I said, said, are you I'm a fan? I said I'm enjoying his new character. I, I said I'm enjoying his new character. I'm not saying I'm a fan of him. I can't, I'm not saying that. Jay Will, you just I, said five great things about the man. And then when the man asked you if he's a I'm, fan. I'm not saying I'm a fan of him. Yo, Jay Will pulls the skit, man. No, I'm not going to. That's like, no, hey, that's like, no, that's like no, this thing you get whole apple pie and be no, like, I don't like you're, apple pie. You're, you're trying to make it because I complimented him. I'm a fan of him. That's not true. That's no. That doesn't make sense. It's like that's like if you said I, I went to Popeyes, but I didn't go inside Popeyes. What are you talking can, about? No, I can compliment how good CM Punk is, but I'm not going to say I'm a fan of him. I can compliment him all day and say he's great, but I'm not going to say I'm a fan. Bro, everyone that just watched this, I want y'all to rewind it back. Just to, when you go, when you watch it, put it in the comment section. Rewind it back to when Jay Will was talking about Dominic Mysterio. Look at his face. Look at his body language. Listen to what he said. If that ain't, happy as hell. If that ain't a fan, then I don't know what the hell is. J. Will, you officially the hater of the week. You know, we, 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 we. <laughs> this man hated on Dom, dog. Hey, hey, man, this, uh, I've apologized know, like I, three I, times. I, like, I, listen, I, listen, I, listen everything that Hollywood said was true. I sat back, I ain't said nothing because I apologize at least every chance I can get to Dom because he's absolutely correct. I said he's doing I was great. Doing all that. But being yo, a hater, no, being a hater saying? would be for me to deny that he's not doing good right now. Being a hater would be me saying, oh, he's not doing good right now. I have said it. He's doing great right now. So how am I being a hater? By saying you're not a fan of something that you're saying that you're I'm enjoying. not a fan of him as a wrestler. I hold on, said if you're gonna ask a question, I said his character's good. Hold, hold on. If you're going to ask a question when you're wrong, then you should let the person retort and, and answer your question. The reason why you're a hater is because you just said five different things about someone that changed their character that you previously hated. So at the least you could give him and say, I'm a fan of the new character of Dominic Mysterio. It, 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 that's it. That's all you had to say. And it, I, that makes you a hater to say you still I'm still not a fan. What? <laughs> you just no, said you just gave him eight different things. No, because now you're no. So what's happening here is you're setting a criteria of how I need to how a fan is. Because that's not that's that's not huh? how that works. That's not how that works, though. Like for me to be a fan, I would have to see, still see more positives than flaws with that person. You didn't say I, not one flaw. I, I haven't gotten to it. You cut me off. No, it wasn't your turn. Your turn was over. He was about to go to mail. See, I caught your ass. <laughs> you didn't catch me nowhere. No, you didn't catch me nowhere. You're saying, every, no, you're saying everything just not to admit you're that you just I'm a hater, bro. I'm not oh, a hater. here we go, bro. You're I'm saying a, I'm a hater, but I'm not. I'm just because I said I'm not a fan. Okay, hold on. Let's see the contest. No, no, no. Let's see the contest. Look, don't you cry no more. All right, so <laughs> so good, yeah. Fight back, Jay Will. That's what I'm talking about. Fight back, <laughs> my boy. Yeah, that Hennessy. Mel, yeah, don't, don't. Hennessy. Mel, fight back. Nah, 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 what do you hate about that? Fight back. Mel, fight Mel, back. Mel, do not, do not encourage the 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 the, the, the this shit. Come on, now you know. Better. <laughs> nah, you, you know always say he got to fight back. He was ready to fight you right now. <laughs> he fought back. He was. All right, what are your thoughts on, on Dominic, Mel? I still hate that motherfucker. <laughs> he live in my dream. It could have been Mel, no. That could have been me. But you're Mel, a fan, no. yes? Oh, do I think it's absolutely entertaining? Yes. Do I think he's doing great right now? Hell yeah. Do I wish it was me? Absolutely true. But at the same time, he is... I'm not going to say I'm a full fan, but I can say he's winning me over character-based. I always felt like he was a decent wrestler in the ring. Because, you know, he so How trained... much of a fan, percentage-wise, would you say you are right now, out of 100? I mean, a good 60, 60 to 75. He's winning him over. That's so passing grade. Over 50, That's passing grade somewhere. Yeah, like, because I'm... He's not somebody like, okay, if something happened, you know, 
I'm gonna go look it up and stuff, or I'm gonna look into him, something like that. But he's actually winning me over, even with since Thanksgiving, I've been getting more interested with him when he when they jumped his pops. So it's hilarious. I just found it more interesting. So this whole going to jail thing, fantastic. Came out, bandana on, creating memes. He's doing a great job. I can't get mad at the kid. Still living my dream. Fuck him. But um, yeah. Rhea, I miss you. <laughs> oh snap. Alright, who do, who do? Alright, so we had an old anniversary. Oh anniversary Monday. I've watched the first row. I called my bro up, you know what I'm saying? Watch the first for all my pops, my bro, R.I.P. pop. So we had to make it a family affair. I'm pretty sure a lot of families out there made a family affair for the 30th anniversary of Raw. Those of y'all that did, outstanding. If you didn't catch it, hey, I enjoyed it. See what the fellas thought. So um, what y'all think about, about Raw, man? What y'all think about Raw? It was some issues with Hogan's mic. I was... Kind of shocked to see Hogan come out and then Ooh. not shocked to see Hogan come out because I'm like, couldn't, you know, 30 years of raw wrestling, Hulk Hogan out there with the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. I wasn't expecting him to get any chairs. I thought he was going to get more booze. Um, what y'all think about Hogan coming out having the mic issues, man? Start off the 30th anniversary of raw. First of all, who caught the very first raw? I know I'm not the only one. I caught the very first raw. Man, I'm pretty sure you weren't one born yet, so no nope. counts you out. Jay, did you catch the first raw? No. No. Jose, did you catch the first raw? No. I'm not that old by the time. I'm sorry. Damn, Marshall. You sound old, bro. Hey man, that's why I got you know. So that's why I forget stuff sometimes, man. That's why I got y'all gotta help me out. I'm a whole pop pop out here in these streets. You know what I mean? <laughs> I rely on y'all young fellas. Y'all young boys. <laughs> but we had the 30th man. anniversary. You know what I'm saying? What did y'all think about Hogan coming out, though? Was y'all happy to see him? Did y'all think he deserved to be there? No. Was it awkward? I don't think he deserved to be there. I you really, really just asked us this, this? I wasn't I shocked really... by it because, you know, it's Hogan. Um, I mean... I, I was I was uh, laughing at the fact that his mic wasn't working, and then they brought the new mic out right at the very end. So at the it was end. like, yeah, you get one line, Hogan, on air. That's about it. Did you hear production? I heard production. Mm-hmm. Hulk. They was trying to call him Hulk. Hulk. Still, he was. He was in his own. Um. Nah, man. I heard. I heard it on the live stream. But uh, shout out to the person uh, that gave geez. him the faulty mic. You're a real MVP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's all. Wait, well, they somebody say that. I'm, I'm. I was off my iron sheet shit that night. As soon as I saw that. <laughs> Hogan's there. Anybody check out Iron She got to say today? <laughs> I guarantee you, fuck Hogan is up fuck there. <laughs> <laughs> Something related to fuck Hogan, huh? He's like, Let me see. Hold on. <laughs> she will be on there and be like, Chipotle messed up my order. It's Hogan's fault. Fuck Hogan. <laughs> fuck <up> Hogan. <laughs> Let's see what we tweeted today. Let's see what we tweeted today. What's today? The 25th of fuck um, Hogan. That's what he always said. <laughs> Let's see if we can find one. Oh, oh, I think he gave Hogan a break today. That means he's going to hit him like three times tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He got to catch up. Yeah. He got to catch up for lost time. <laughs> yeah, he got to catch up for lost time. Yep, he only got a tweet a day ago. He called him a jabroni. <laughs> Nothing today. So, yeah, he's going to hit him like 14 times tomorrow. <laughs> like, good morning. And fuck Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Peace be unto everybody. Except Hulk Hogan. <laughs> All right. Oh, um, ah, hell. Hey, Iron Sheik is hell, bro. <laughs> I know he is. And fuck Hulk Hogan. Um, so boom, we had the trial of Sami Zayn. That was that, I've been waiting for this. That, that was, was a that was masterpiece. Trial, I ain't going to hear. Listen, 
When I tell you it was a family affair, bro, me and bro, we had Sammy on trial ourselves, bro. And when that man with Jay was like, if you want Sammy to be in the bloodline, throw your ones up. Me and bro straight up threw our ones up. Like, we in the arena, dog. We was so into it, dog. Like, that was, like, one of the greatest segments ever, bro. Like, that shit let's talk fantastic. about it, man. You know what I'm saying? We had the evidence. That shit was fantastic. Dog, the, way that, the way that the wise man came at him, though, in the beginning, he was just like, ECW died here the same way I want Sammy Uso to die out of the bloodline. I was so God. Yo. Hey, Yo. Peace. Nah, the video where Sammy dip when he seen his homies getting beat up. By uh, <laughs> the, the video <laughs> evidence of Sammy against Sammy might have been the best shit, especially when Paul was like, that nigga accidentally bumped into him, and he's like, that's assault. A dog, that shit was Nah, funny. that was an assassination attempt on a tribal chief, bro. Dog, yes. We call that shit. <laughs> dog, that shit was funny. No. Oh. He said, the ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I please ask that you find this rat bastard guilty as charged. Yo, for my House of Dragon fans, when my man said bastard, hey, I felt the camera shake. You know what I'm saying? My House of Dragon fans know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so he, he even came out of it Samoan, too. He said, this is a Judas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Judas out of here. Right. No. The CJ. You see, Jake, so, cause, cause, uh, my man, uh, Solo, Solo about, to, about to put him out. About to, about to give him out out the spike. He the Samoan like, spike. Y'all, y'all, y'all like uh, Solo taking, you know, what I'm saying using I old family with spike. Moment. I like it. I like it. Like it. About to give it to him. And then Jay with the save, just like Sammy was with the save on the ref. No disrespect, oh, Tribal Chief. No disrespect. My oh, man said, so I got my own evidence. Dog, the whole arena erupted. I was like, oh, yeah. That was lit. That was lit. So he got his own elemental P2, Paul. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> my man, oh, yo, I ain't even going to lie. I almost shut a tear right there, man. My what? man said, yo, hold on, Tybu Chief. No disrespect. He caught that on real quick. I was like, yo, hold up. Hey, you see his belt but down. I heard like, get this you heard, Roman. heard Roman. Yeah, he's still in the bloodline for now. For now. For now. He said, I want to see you till Saturday. Damn. We'll see. Damn. We'll see. But uh, it was great. It was great. That was great. Um, I had a lot of guests up in the gym. Got to see my man, the Godfather. You know what I mean? We ain't seen no hoes. You know what I'm saying? It's a different time. Different time. Can't, can't do it like we used to do back in the attitude era. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nope, nope, nope. Um, Uncle Ron was in the building. Shout out to Uncle Ron. Damn. You know, exactly. <laughs> Everybody's waiting for that joke. You know what I'm saying? And we um, have to see the APA door was back. That was a yeah. <laughs> not, not, nice throw. That was a nice throwback. Bring the APA door blaze. Back. We had a laundry blaze with the WWF Women's Champion. Mm-hmm. Same one she threw in the trash. Mm-hmm. She found mm-hmm. that shit. Mm-hmm. She was looking old. Um, we had Taker in the house, or as, as my man Hollywood like to call him, Country Taker. You know what I'm saying? We heard the gong. I was like, oh, the goosebumps came up. The next thing you know, the lights came on. American Badass, Country Taker. I was like, I know he ain't walking out there. Taker's country like 80 Taker. years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know he riding the bike out that joint, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. Bro, watch him out- get... Watching him get in the ring, you could see every bit of his age, bruh. <laughs> he Yo, said, what? "I don't." He said, "He got big though." Me. You can tell he been in the gym. Yeah, nah, yeah. You can tell he eating good. We retirement is doing him well. Nah, you can tell he was like, good. "I ain't wearing that uh, paint paint on my face no more. No eyeliner, none of that." He said, "If I'm yeah, coming he back, brought, he got tired of that. Country taker." I'm, I'm, I was just struggling. I was just laughing at how he was struggling to turn on that motorcycle when he was trying to leave. <laughs> that, that to oh, me had me crazy. laughing. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why he cut the beard off. My man, Michelle yeah. didn't like it, man. My man shaved. Michelle was like, "Cut that shit." What? Yeah, his wife. Don't like that. <laughs> man, yeah, happy wife, happy life, ministry. man. He's enjoying retirement, bro. He ain't worried about that shit, man. He's like Min- Ministry of Darkness taker. That beard he had. 
bro. That man looked that menacing the pointy then. Jump? Yeah, with the <laughs> goat, bro. That man looked menacing then, bro. American badass was back. And they played the Kid Rock joint. They brought they brought the music back too. Mm-hmm. I'm just imagining if he's my dad back then. Imagine Undertaker being your dad, bro. <laughs> he's living his persona of a dead man 24-7. Probably think his ass sleep in a coffin or some shit. Yeah, so he drove that motorcycle out. <laughs> yeah, he was probably a happy kid then when he went to American Bad. He was like, Yes, finally we can open the blinds. That's some sunlight in this job. Right. <laughs> Take a drove that motorcycle that first time. That's what made me lit. Every time I seen a motorcycle, I thought the Undertaker was there, man. Yeah. Every time I seen one, Undertaker uh, coming motorcycle. out. Mm-hmm. That means yeah. Undertaker close. <laughs> <laughs> like, like seeing a low rider. You know Eddie close. R.I.P. Mm-hmm. Eddie. Mm-hmm. Oh. But uh, yeah, you also had DDP back there with a laundry blade. Oh, yeah, I can't forget him. about old yeah, I was I, shocked to yeah. see him. What? Mr. Yoga oh, himself. Yoga Master? Yeah, IRS there too. Yeah, yeah. IRS. Yeah. Million, million dollar, dollar man with the belt. Hey, that Ted belt was still clean. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah, belt, that, belt. that was beautiful. Him, him losing to Baron and then IRS taking all that money. It was yeah. <laughs> he said, here's 100, kid. That's, hey. that's your cut. <laughs> Funny they bring him out in this tax time too, right? Right. <laughs> Look, are you ready? Do, do. I said, Are you ready? Nah, it's it's getting that shit getting played out, son. But you I'm know tired. what? I'm I enjoyed this it. segment, I enjoyed this segment because of Kurt Angle, yeah, yeah. And the road dog was about to hit the, <laughs> the uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. And he got down to the, the road dog, just James. You're not bad. <laughs> what? That, that was, that was great. Yeah. That was, that was, was great. Because we knew Billy wasn't going to be there. You know what I mean? So it was like, what are they going to do with it? So it's like Kirk, Kirk is officially. Has been a member of DX and the Shield and the Street Profits. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This man was about to be like the Shaq of wrestling. He's about to have been on every team. <laughs> 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 like, for real, bro. <laughs> but it was good to see him out there. He had to end up ref in the match. Um, his referee. Got to see a boy. Play his a play. referee shirt was holler. hilarious. <laughs> Everybody's favorite ump. Oh, Teddy mm. Long. Holla, holla, I was holla, 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 player. Hey, I thought he was going to fuck up and be like, they're going one-on-one with The Undertaker. But he I didn't. Over, it's Undertaker. Undertaker. They're going one-on-one with The Undertaker, one Undertaker player. Mm-hmm. Holla, holla. Or he hit him with the, <laughs> you know what? Tonight, we going to have a, a, a tag team match. <laughs> Sit, matter of fact, a seven on seven tag team in a half match. <laughs> and the winner of that match goes one-on-one with the Undertaker. With the Undertaker. <laughs> they was like, yo, Undertaker, you ain't got a match tonight. Teddy Long, don't worry about it, man. I got you. <laughs> I always keep yo, my gear with that me. Was, that was the greatest shit in 2007. And shit. You go, what? You talking shit? You go one-on-one with the Undertaker player? <laughs> he gonna give you that finger too. My man, that man dancing and shit until he had him his and, heart attack um, at his wedding. <laughs> him and dog on uh Trish Stratus, boy, they give you that finger. That's Teddy's finger. Trish's point mm-hmm. that finger. <laughs> point that finger. <laughs> <laughs> They was throwing ones before they was throwing ones. Yo, I'm trying to tell you, yo, she be pointing the fuck out that finger. That finger's insured. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, off Flair, you know, Trips, you know, was running the show for a minute, so Flair got back in, slid his way back in. At the order, yeah, this, Slick got Rick got more lives than a damn cat, bro. More lives than what? What you mean? Yeah, more you thought he wasn't coming back after Triple H and was in charge? I mean, you know, it's much a matter dude. of time. You know, they, they had to let the shit dude. die down a little bit. He, yeah, he can't do no wrong in their eyes. Ask Tommy. He can. G, no, he can, but it'll die down like six months. 
Mm-hmm. Ask Tommy Dreamer, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, Miz. I was getting amped when Miz was doing his shit, dog. Miz was speaking facts, dog. And you knew something was gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? I was just pumping the shit up. I was like, talk your shit, Miz. Talk your shit. Even though I knew something was gonna happen. Cause he was dropping facts. I want my raw 30th movie. I was this. I was that. I was dropping all his accolades and accomplishments just to get taken out. And then what's this? What is this setting up for, man? We're gonna get it because they're teasing us. Too much, man. We had the Austin Theory Brock Lesnar match. All right. Bobby Lashley. Going pretty good. It's going good. And then next thing you know, we see old Cowboy Brock come out. You know what I'm saying? F5 party. Helping Austin Theory retain. Anybody anybody got any thoughts on that, man? Like, somebody want to speak on it? I don't want to say Oh, yeah. It was, uh, that was, man, I mean, we, we knew something was going to happen with Bobby. We knew something was going to happen with Bobby with what the conversation he was having with MVP. And uh, I thought it was going to be one of the Hurt Business uh, old guys coming back, like Cedric Alexander was going to get involved in some kind of way. But I think Brock coming in there uh, makes it look a lot better because they've been hinting at Brock versus Bobby for a while. And this is this is that heat. This is that heat. You took away his title shot. You let Theory get away. And uh, Brock came in and got a little, you know, a little payback on Bobby. Go for it. It's, it's go time, man. Go have Brock versus Bobby again, guys. I hope for the final time. Excited? It's Brock versus Bobby. <laughs> I hope for the final time. God damn. Uh, how, how many times do we got to see Brock? I think the way you said it was black guy. At least one more time. I don't like the way you said that shit. Rock versus Bobby. I really don't. <laughs> Mel, you're nope. in New York. Go beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a four-hour job. <laughs> Look, you're closer than we are. <laughs> um, anybody else got any thoughts on that, or just y'all, y'all the fellas that just don't, don't want to see it? What I heard what you, you Jay Williams. What's that, man? What you want me to say, huh? Y'all want me to be upset? Anything. Y'all want me to be upset? Cause Bobby Lashley once again look like a punk against Brock Lesnar. That's what y'all want. Speak your truth, brother. Huh? Speak so your truth. So now he got So Brock Lesnar is this strong that he got to call for help. He got to go call for help. They should call themselves the help business, not the hurt business. The help Listen. business, cause we here to help Bobby Lashley. Because this ain't no way to get the Hurt Business back. They said Brock eating bison. Yeah. He was hanging out with Colin and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and fact, you know, and he's like, no, nah, Brock, Brock ain't going to Wegmans. He's actually hunting his own bison. Right. <laughs> and he's wearing their fur. You know what I mean? So... Brock, Brock is Colin Plug. <laughs> <laughs> get it direct. <laughs> Colin, get the season that the Brock season is and stuff. Get the best yeah, so when I give blade, you, when I the give you this bison, uh, put it on the wood wood stove type shit. My man said, "Yeah, when I give you this bison, you better use my seasoning too." Hey, bro, I got you. I got you. I'm gonna put the seasoning on that shit. I'm gonna put on everything, even the asparagus, mm-hmm. the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> he said, "We only eat bison, no veggies." Oh man, yeah, bro, eating that other shit, bro, eating deer. Like bucks, and he ain't regular t- <laughs> buffalo for real. Buffalo dog, you know what I mean? Mountain lions. Mm-hmm. He you know what I'm saying? For real, like real alive. He said, "You like, like this bear meat? It's, it's, it's the grass is yeah. growing outside his yard, dog. Like that's what he's not, he's not that boy farm people. life for real, man. Like, real Y'all alive, need to dog. stop playing. Y'all need to stop. He was out there tossing that hay, man. Y'all need to start playing with that mug, all right? Hmm. I'm Brock to be came upset. out the eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, bro. Like, don't play with Brock. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker. Don't play with that boy. Oh, man. All right. So, moving along. Um, we got the NXT Women's Summit Aftermath in the Toxic Attraction. Aquavo, 
What's what's going on with this, man? What's up with with, with, with the NXT women's thing, man? What's up with Toxic Attraction, man? Yeah, we got Toxic Attraction going up against Roxanne Perez for that title. You know, we just saw the summit. Saw how crazy these three ladies uh, could go at each other, be petty, do low blows left and right, and then turn it around and put her through that table. So I think, you know, it's one of those things where they will get to that culminating point and have to decide, you know, who's going to take that belt if we take it off of Roxy P, you know, and who who will get it? Is it going to be uh, JC Jane or is it going to be, uh, you know, Gigi Dolan? Is she going to take that belt? You know, are they, is Roxy P going to be both of them? Make them, you know, fight themselves internally? We don't know. We're going to have to find out at Vengeance Day. Uh, although this, this last segment was entertaining. I thought they did a good job promo-wise. You know, those two ladies went back to back to back to back. And, uh, yeah, man, they made it entertaining all the way through past the the table, you know. So I think this was something that if you haven't seen it, you got to watch that segment. It was worth watching, and and it was definitely entertaining. So they still going around calling themselves toxic attraction. Well, yeah, they lost Mandy, but they... About they that was the group that Mandy was with, right? Like, yeah, but they need to just call it so toxic. Like, toxic, the attraction yeah, the is gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is gone. <laughs> like, y'all just need to be toxic something. Right. Toxic. I'm not, I'm not going to say the B word, but yeah, toxic chicks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Two girls with a, with a hat and a rose. Some shit <laughs> like that. Like, Two broke yeah, chicks. <laughs> yeah. Yo, he said two broke chicks. Yo, I'm done. <laughs> toxic attraction. Man, y'all get that chicks. shit out of our face, man. Oh. Y'all stable, y'all faction. Go. Right. Go. Oh, when she was out there posting them pictures. Go. <laughs> hey, Baby, don't picture? worry. Marshall still miss you. Yeah, I do. I'm not subscribing, but I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not because he doesn't want to. He just doesn't know where to find you. He, no, I, I'm not going to. No, I don't. Okay, I don't pay for shit like that, bro. Like, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll pay five dollars on a bingo app to win some more money to pay for the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, I can win some money on this shit? Oh, okay, let's see what's going on. You saw Colin was saying out all them damn drafts. Hey, sign up to this. You can win this. I knew that shit was there. Yeah, you're not going to win shit. You got to win this much money. And well, what happened, Jay Will? Did, did you get any money? Bet $5, get $200 for free bets. <laughs> hey, Mandy Bros. <laughs> Don't you cry no more. <laughs> You need to be saying that's a toxic <laughs> attraction because that's what's about to happen to their career. They about to cry in a minute. Right? Mm-hmm. Two broke girls. There you go. Oh, <laughs> oh man. So what do you feel about that, uh, Mel? What you think about the NXT show? You got any thoughts on that? Or was that your thought? That was my thought. Yeah, toxic saying, attraction. See, he's, yo, he getting old. He's, he forgot who was next. He forgot. So who I want to make sure he was there, bro. No, no. Sometimes Mel has comments, and let me do my thing, Jose. You know, that's why you're over there, and I'm over here. Because sometimes Mel, hey, you having his little shots, whatever. You know, I was a shot to what you were saying. You didn't even pick that up. You know, toxic so. attraction. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and he's still going. Y'all ain't attracted nobody yet. He's just Maybe going right going. now. Y'all don't even got belts. What's attracting to y'all? <laughs> oh, God, God. <laughs> Toxically broke. That's what y'all need to call yourselves. <laughs> Out of fucking control. Running around. <laughs> Just trying to use this thing so y'all can keep getting paychecks. Y'all funny as hell. <laughs> Go ahead, J. Will. I'm done. <laughs> that was his thought and rant. There you go. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All right. So, in that case, because we're coming to you, brother. What you got for us, man? This is a, you know, new segment we're going to try out. Listen, and every time Jay will start to try some shit, he fucks it up. We're going to hope he doesn't fuck this one up. Right? So, 
<laughs> let's go. J Will, it's gonna be J Will presents one gotta go. That way, if it don't work, we can put all that shit on J Will. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I only heard that second L. <laughs> there you go. So, what you got for us today, J Will? With one L for now, for today's one gotta go. That's stupid, you're thinking about theme music. One got to go. You got to get rid of either oh, the theme music. Theme music. What was it? You got to get rid of either Stone Cold's The Grass Break one, the first one, The Rock's If You Smell What The Rock do, 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 mm-hmm. is Cooking or HBK. You got to get rid of HBK. Okay, Stone Cold, um, The Rock, and HBK. Mm-hmm. Which the, version the of heartbreak, HBK? The heartbreak, the heartbreak kid one. The, uh, they're all just what? You can't, no, he can't he do the screen. No, don't he try to force him to do the screen. No, he has two. He I has two of them. He has the two. Drive but, the but, girls wow. Isn't that the same one? Isn't one he sang and then another one someone else sang? I want to say either Sherry was singing or Jimmy Hart. One Sherry of the two. Sang it. Sherry sang it. The yes, first, he the has two one, versions. Sherry sang it, and then the second one, Sean sang it from there. But it was only like two months that the original one was there. He used the the one with him singing longer than the one with Sherry. Yeah. So those are your choices. One of them got to go. Easy for me. The rock. <laughs> yeah, rock for me. That's gone. Yeah. I don't care. That wasn't even my favorite. Gotta have that glass break. break. That glass break for me is iconic. It's like, you know, that thing. And then yeah. HBK, Joe, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, I still rock out to that. I, HB... Which this one, one was hard for me be- simply because I grew up on Attitude Era. So Stone Cold and Rocks is hard. I'm not getting rid of HBK just because of that one WrestleMania entrance when he came in from the rafter. Mm-hmm. Bro, that... There's... Yeah, bro. It's kind of, it's kind of. <laughs> That's all you could do. And kick yeah. his legs. <laughs> it's. I, I'm sorry. It, it's got to be rock is the eat. Rock is the loss on that one, bro. That glass uh-huh. break. You know, shit's about to go down when you hear that glass break, bro. That. Especially that one entrance where the glass actually broke when he walked out. Like, bro. That shit that, was tough. That that's. That was hard. a tough intro. Went hard, bro. Got to keep that. Got to keep that entrance right there alone, dog. Like that's yeah. So based vicious. off, based off of that one entrance. Mm-hmm. Rock has some banging music, though. We, let's is is that one in particular? But he had a couple of remakes, though. He he's had more remakes. Like of three that remakes, same song right? Three or four anybody. remakes. There's like at least like seven different remakes of that Damn. same song. Uh, not really remakes. I know that man. I thought the lyrics like three changed or four. a little bit. No lyrics changed, but they just added more stuff to it. Like if you from one, like that added, Hollywood one is like, so to me that's like the one that's more the most different. The yeah, one where they had that that crazy guitar solo was might have been like one of the. Ain't biggest that the Hollywood ones. one? Mm-hmm. Nah, wait. I don't, the Hollywood one was where it started off with the little. Uh, yeah, where he go is cooking. No, nah, no, nah, so nah, nah, you get like a little war, no ambience because yeah, it's going over Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah, nah, yeah, not, then you not, get that's the... not the same one I'm thinking. That's not the same one I'm talking about. I'm talking about the if you smell do, 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 what the rock is cooking. The, that's, the, like, that's the one with the guitar solo in that joint that killed. That's the one that's after the one... Hollywood. No, no that's, that's the one before Hollywood. That's, that's, before the, Hollywood. that's the one he okay. used like 2001, 2002. After oh, okay. he did the mummy movie, that's the one he came back and used. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Was that the flamethrower jump? No. I want a mm-hmm. flamethrower jump. Flamethrower wasn't until WrestleMania 32 or 3 or something. 32. 32, 32 in 30. Texas. Yeah. Well, somebody that's throwing away the rock drinks, y'all show that they had a conversation about how many damn. Bro, as a rock fan, bro, I, I know him pretty damn well. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, I'm still getting rid of Rock. Who did you say you was getting rid of? No, Rock. I, I was just gonna get rid of the "What's Got to Go." Just the segment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say the same thing, Pedro. Like, if you're gonna make it this easy, then um, you gotta uh. That was pretty easy, Jacob. See, that was pretty. That was it pretty... ain't. 
You got people. Who Usually you give us four area. choices too. You gave us three. This is the four corners. I'm not going to lie to you. It was <laughs> if I if I had a fourth one, it would have been too you easy put to Triple get rid H of. In there. You just made this yeah, one. Yeah, you could have put Triple H in there. That would have been good one. How yeah. hard did you think so about this shit? The Triple H one was hard for me because it was the the either it was either the uh, which one was that the Radiohead joint. You talking about my time? What was or what was the other one? It's my time. It's and then it's um time to play the game or it's the King of Kings. King of Kings would have been the easiest one for me to get rid of. This segment's about to be Don't you cry no more. (laughs) (laughs) If you don't come next week, if you don't come with no, you gonna get canceled quicker than Dave Chappelle pilot was. (laughs) And you gonna earn that other L for real. <laughs> All right. Ooh, well, that was too easy. That one was easy, man. Right, right, right. Yeah. No one's gonna vote against the dude that sang his own theme song. That's one. And then no one's gonna go against the glass breaking. So yeah. Just just the point there. Yeah, just to let you know. So that was why that's one. That's why that one's easy. Yeah, but it was your good, your first time a good swing and miss. It's okay. Um, Go to hell. You kind of, you know, you know. Give your compliment. Why you gotta give your compliment? You know, you know why this. This this, is not his first time. He's had plenty of times to do what's gotta go. Hey, Quavo, I'm. We we, relax. I was about to give him the shits, but now I can't give him the shits no more because you. You just jumping in, just messed it up, kind of like how Ke- uh, Eddie Kingston jumped on John Moxley when the bomb was about to blow up in the ring. <laughs> Yo, hey, 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 Mel, don't you cry no more. <laughs> <laughs> you can place that shit anywhere. It's never run. It's never not funny. Hey, gentlemen, if you don't come with better stuff next week, like my son, Tony. Yo. (laughs) (laughs) This has been another episode. Thank you for joining us for season five in the four corners. Throw them foes up. Throw them bitches down. Did y'all fellas have fun today? Yup. I don't know about Define you. fun. Define fun because we, we need a definition for fan and what fun. What the hell is fun to you, man? This is the most sexist part. I mean, I ever. enjoyed everything of it, but I still didn't have fun. You get what I'm See, saying? That's like, your problem. Like, everything was great. Everything was progressing like throughout the entire show. Everything was you know just building up on each other, everything, but I still wasn't having fun. Does that make sense, Marshall? I get what he's trying. First of, Yo, fight back, Jay Will. First of all, this, that was a good <laughs> team is so man. Fight back. Right. <laughs> Jay Will, I know you have fun today. Hey, get, get, before we get up out of here, get him, man. No, because this is the most sexist podcast of all time. Y'all talked about one girl the whole damn show. Y'all didn't talk about um, Becky Lynch, not once. Y'all didn't talk about Bailey. Nobody, y'all, nobody talked about the show. Y'all didn't talk know. about Aaliyah. Y'all didn't even give Aaliyah no props. Hey, y'all didn't. Y'all didn't make fun of Ric Flair the Migo suit. Offset took the <laughs> Offset took the shopping. <laughs> y'all ain't talking about that damn suit. Hey, go day. This is with the what we missed part. There we go. Okay, well then what we missed was that damn suit. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible. That suit fight. <laughs> That suit was like water, woman, like the sun, sun. <laughs> <laughs> I just started fucking my TV, bro. <laughs> I was so I was mad like, at that damn suit. I was like, what the, what the hell this Rick got on? And he's <laughs> talking, Rick can't talk no more. No. no. You like my dad. My man. <laughs> he said, I got that say the best dad. Hi, man. Like Rick, shut your ass up. You know, we don't want to dress no more. Don't talk. We don't even need to see you. I, I heard his I heard he has some good um 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 THC products. That's what I heard. Mm. Oh, okay. When it, okay. When it hit it, did you make you say woo? 
<laughs> oh man, yeah, my, my bro, as soon as he came out, bro was like, yo, that suit is pissing me off. Like, that's all he said the whole time Rick was talking, like, dog, that suit is pissing me off. I'm trying to look at, like, what the fuck is going on with my TV, and bro is just in the back, like, dog, like, for real, that suit's, like, really pissing me off. Like, that shit, that shit was hilarious. Um, I'm just still amazed for the- that he's walking. That's the, that's the, like, how is that man still moving, bro? He looks hey. terrible. Hey. I thought you got more more lives than a cat. Oh, you know what else we missed? Grayson Wall and Braun Breaker get into a fight. <laughs> at a performance center. You said to put that down as a topic, Quay Bo, instead of uh, I mean, I mean, yeah. He did I mean you gotta watch it. You gotta watch two it. Two broke chicks. It was yeah, I guess. Yeah. That came across my Twitter feed. No, you it was about, good though. He did put I was a laughing that flare suit. The next the can. next tweet Ooh. was a damn fight at NXT Performance Center. Ricky Smiley, not Ricky Smiley, but Norman I save, Smiley. I was saving it for next week, you know, Vengeance Day. Let's let's have fun, yeah. you know. Predictions. Yeah. Yeah. It's about to get lit. So we had fun today. I had fun. I'm out. Freshman, you make my day. Y'all remember that song? You anyway. guys remember uh, Raw's first episode? I do. You don't. But guess what? You can go catch it on Peacock. For Corner Boy. You and Excalibur are the corniest people. You and Excalibur are the corniest people in wrestling right now. Who that? You and Excalibur. Hey, man, it's hard trying to do this shit by yourself, man. <laughs> <laughs> Quavo got like two second opinions. I'm trying to work with Jay Will. Between you and Mel, shit. That's like Soul Calibur, Mortal Kombat right there, boy. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Well, Jay Will did amazing today. Stop. He it. did. But were you a fan? Were you a fan of him? I'm a Here fan of Jay Will of all time. I don't, I mean, I'm not a hater like Jay Will, but I'm a fan of his. I can admit that I'm a fan of his. I would get an IMJ Real shirt. Appreciate you. I would get one. You know what? Matter of fact, merch coming soon. Front of the shirt gonna say IMJ Will, and the back gonna say Yeah, one L, motherfucker. <laughs> I should put that. I'm 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 Ooh. working on that tonight. Soon as we can get off, soon as y'all finish this this shit. You know, season five, we coming in. This is uh, this is one of the worst take shows y'all ever gave ever. It's it like it was horrible. I wasn't a fan of the show today, especially Quavo. Quavo be you're re- welcome. Quavo you're be welcome. recycling jokes and then it just, I ain't peeped that right. I was waiting for a Popeyes joke today. I was waiting for one. I already did one. You late? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. It didn't hit. Got it. It, it, it didn't, no, it didn't hit. It wasn't the cheap heat. Cheap heat was not coming today. Mel wants to get up and get away from all of y'all because he really doesn't like any of us, for real, except on Wednesdays. <laughs> That's the only time he likes us. And which, ironically, Dynamite's on Wednesdays, his favorite uh, wrestling product right now. <laughs> Tony That's Khan. why he doesn't like us, because we're on during his favorite product. You know? we're, we're stopping him from watching his shows. He like he it. He don't watch it. He don't watch none of that. He don't watch. It. I guarantee if you go back to his his last channel, click last channel on his TV, that's just in like Lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> Cartoon Network. <laughs> yeah, he got a girl, so it's on Lifetime or like TLC or something like that. A and E or some shit. VH1. Oh, yeah, he man don't like AD. He only likes AEW to piss y'all off. <laughs> In this shit, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know what it is. Tune in next week. Like, share, subscribe. Four Corner Wrestling Podcast. Throw them foes up. Throw them down. And as we like to say, we keep it going. Don't try this shit at home. Leave it to professionals. And we out. Hey, Ryback, you still suck. Hit the boom. Boom. <laughs>